Hi, welcome to Buxton Engineering. I'm Brad Buxton, and we put together this short video today to give you a look at some of the features and point out some key differences in our new second generation Bench Pro valve spring testers. Anyone that has used a RIMAC or similar tester based off a rack and pinion type system quickly realizes its shortcomings. The handle is never in the correct position to achieve maximum leverage. Another issue is that some of the springs in today's racing engines are reaching an upwards of 1,500 pounds, which is almost impossible to compress with a rack gear setup. Our tester uses a lever system to compress the spring, and one of the big advantages of that is the lever ratio increases the further you compress the spring, and the handle is always in the right position. Height setup is easily done with a micrometer standard or basically any parallel object of a known height. Insert the standard and press the height calibration button. From there, just type in the standard length and press the set button and your height calibration is now complete. If you are testing double or triple wound springs, you will want to use a retainer to step down the inner springs for an accurate reading. We have added a feature that will subtract the retainer thickness from the standard height to make this super easy. Just measure the outer retainer thickness and then press the retainer thickness button. From there, just type in the measured value and press the set button. It will now subtract the retainer thickness to compensate the overall height. We have recently added an optional software upgrade. It adds features not available on any other standalone tester on the market and can really save a lot of time. It adds four new buttons to the main screen, a target installed height, target seat pressure, a target bind clearance, and a future but not yet available PC mode that will allow you to connect your tester to a PC for even more added features. In the target installed height screen, you type in the target installed height you want to test at, then type in the valve lift. Pull the handle in one steady motion until the spring is stacked solid, then release. Within three seconds, it will give you the seat pressure, open pressure, bind height, bind clearance, and spring rate. In the target seat pressure screen, you enter in your desired seat pressure that you want to achieve, then type in the valve lift. After making the pull, it will give you the installed height to get your desired seat pressure. It will also give you the open pressure, the bind height, bind clearance, and the valve spring rate. And finally, in the target bind clearance screen, you enter your desired bind clearance. Then, enter your valve lift and an approximate bind height. After making the pull, it will give you the installed height to achieve your desired bind clearance. It will also give you the seat pressure, open pressure, bind height, and valve spring rate. We would like to thank you for taking the time to check out this video. For more information about this or any of our other products, give us a call or check us out on the web at www.buxtonengineering.com.